Hey guys, this is that generator guy. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys in case anyone has this. I know a lot of food trucks like to have this uh, generator. It's a WGen 12,000C. And it would run for about 10 seconds to 30 seconds and then shut itself down. Uh, so the problem was with the CO detector, uh, even though the CO light did not come on. What would come on was this yellow service generator light. Uh, so the fix for it was right behind this uh, CO sensor there is a harness and if you peel it back on the other side you see a green wire and a blue wire. You want to jump the green wire to the blue wire that will make it uh, bypassed so that this sensor won't have any input anymore. Um, if you want to know what these other wires do, uh, I can tell you the, the yellow, the green, or the yellow with green stripe and the red one, those go to actually power those lights. Uh, the pink one goes to uh, this transfer switch right here. And these other four wires all go to the actuator uh, is what it's called on the wiring diagram and that takes the input from the sensor which is obviously bad and does something either keeps it running or turns it off um, looks like green's usually a ground so I think that it needs to stay a low signal and if it detects that there is carbon monoxide, then it sends power from either that black with white stripe or white wire to one of these wires. So uh, by jumping the green and the blue, you effectively bypass it and it runs. All right, take care.